telling my story, I always like to sort of go back to my roots. Um, and I grew up in South Florida, so I was, you know, constantly encountering lizards and birds and marine life in just my regular daily activities. And so when I got to college, I absolutely loved science and research, but at the end of the day, it was not my calling. Um, policy is very much my calling. So something that I can do is actually work to protect wildlife and their habitats. Um, and so a big part of that to me is transforming our energy system um, and helping us transition entirely off of fossil fuels. So one of the things I did was I got involved with Environment America's work. And so right now I'm working as our energy conservation and efficiency associate, uh, where I focus on making our buildings more efficient and um, ultimately electrifying them so that we can get rid of fossil fuel use in buildings and just completely repower them with renewable energy sources. We're working on a big defense campaign right now. Um, there are a bunch of bills that the gas industry is backing right now. Basically what they would do um, is that they would prevent communities from being able to mandate that all of their buildings are electric. You know, in the near future, in a lot of those places, Americans are going to live in a place where they might want to pass mandates and set goals to electrify all of their buildings, but they won't be able to take any collective action unless the state does it, which is really unfortunate and something that we definitely don't want to see happen. Part of the challenge here is we want to get folks up to speed and we want to educate them and tell them why this is important and at the same time ask them to take action. And it's hard to tell people why these bills are so sinister and so dangerous while at the same time explaining what the benefits of electrification are. Um, so I think that's one big one in my, in my campaign work in particular. The very first project that I was assigned on staff was to advocate for appliance efficiency standards in Massachusetts. To clarify for you know, anybody who watches or listens, the reason that appliance efficiency standards are so important as part of this push is that if we want to reduce our energy needs, we're going to have to reduce energy waste. So I spent a large part of the year doing everything that I could really to try and get that passed. Um, and Massachusetts just passed appliance efficiency standards like a couple weeks ago. So it's been really great to see my very first um, project and campaign really come to fruition. Um, and then the second one that I just wanna highlight is our electric buildings report release. It's really to help tell the story about why electrifying our buildings can help us cut harmful air pollution um, and avoid the worst impacts of climate change and um, why ultimately it's a key step in that transition to 100% renewable energy. My biggest recommendation is just to go all electric um, in most places, especially um, when it comes to new construction, building an all electric home is already more cost effective than and makes financial sense over building a home that is powered uh, by mixed fuel sources. Um, so that would be a big one. I tend to think of things in terms of um, what it's like to be a resident of a home. Um, obviously, I'm a 23 year old renter, but one thing that I definitely would say is if you have the ability to start electrifying your home um, when your appliances, your gas powered appliances reach the end of their useful life. The other thing is to support policies that would make that easier for folks to do. So whether that is something like supporting appliance efficiency standards so that we use less energy in our homes or something um, like supporting low cost financing and rebate programs so that it makes it easier for folks to do that. Um, I would say that those are things that everybody is able to do in their state, even folks like me that are 20 something year old renters. The one thing that I really want to promote and the thing that I really wanted to, to ask of anybody who's listening and, um, you know, uh, your audience is just if you live in a state with one of those gas ban preemption bills, just call your legislator um, and tell them that you don't support any preemption bills that would um, undermine community freedom to set goals to electrify buildings. Um, so if Anybody listening or watching or reading lives in any of those states, um, please, please call your legislators and tell them um, that you don't support that legislation. Mm -hmm.